Hey guys, Coach Sam here, and we're bringing you a brand new phase of um, our semi-private uh, training. Uh, today's workout uh, is using an, an old school sort of you know bodybuilding or muscle building uh, method called the hundred rep method. Okay, so we've, we've used this method before in our gym, and it's the first time using it um, within our home workouts. There's a few different ways you can use it. Um, how we do it today is on the biggest movements, so th th these sessions are actually going to be a little bit more metabolic than um, than normal. So. Uh, today's quad and back day, so we're going to start off with squats and rows. Now, uh, we're going to elevate the heels on the squats, so we've got some plates here just to elevate the heels, just to give us a bit more dorsiflexion in the ankle, which means we should be able to hit the lower squat position, and ultimately that means we get a bit more quad focus. Okay, so elevating the heels is a great way to make sure we get full range. How it's going to work is we're going to be aiming for 100 reps on squats and rows. Now, the easiest way to do this is however, me, me, however many reps you do on the squat, match that with the rows. So the aim is to do 100 on each in as little sets as possible. So one way you could do it would be 10 reps times 10 or 20 reps times five. Mel's gonna try and go for 25 reps, I think, on each set and try and get it done in four, in four sets. But as soon as you have to stop, you move on to the next exercise. Okay, so Mel's gonna try and do 25 squats, 25 rows, repeat that process four times to tick, to tick off 100 reps on each. She's had a warm up. You should have two if you haven't, guys. Press pause. Get your warm up done, um, and uh, now it's ready to go. So let's uh, let's get it done. So tempo, guys, is nice and controlled. It's nothing. There's no pauses. Mel's gonna go down nice and controlled. She's not gonna bounce. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So I'm gonna time her. See how long it takes. Uh, so this is a perfect tempo. Chest up. Yeah, like a two zero one zero is absolutely fine. If you want a bit more time and attention, you can, and you can go with a three zero one zero. Now Mel's resting today is her rest day, so when I asked her if she wanted to use any weights, she's like, no. Okay, she doesn't want to use any weights, so she's filming this workout today uh, just for the purpose of you guys. Okay, so if this is you, we want you to make sure these these reps are hard. You shouldn't be able to do more than twenty five. If you can, you need to add some weight. Now, what could that weight be? It could be a rucksack on your back. It could be a pair of dumbbells. It could be a band, okay? I'll show you how to set up the band on Mel's next set, and she can do a few of those reps for us, but she's doing 25. We're gonna superset this with a form of row. Now, TRX row, door, uh, towel row on the door, okay? Uh, Mel's gonna do barbell row. She's gonna lean over. We'll show you a few different variations. Yeah, she's gonna lean over and do a bent over barbell row, and she's gonna match your reps for 25. Okay, squeezing her back, releasing nice control. This could be a TRX row, guys. It could be a banded row, so we'll show you next time as well. Any form of pulling motion in this direction is absolutely fine, okay? TRX rows are great because you can maneuver your feet for each, each set. But remember, if you can do more than 25 at once, that weight is too light to you to try and find a way to make it more difficult. If anyone's unsure about to do that, let us know. It could be that we add some pauses, uh, we use a slightly different tempo here. Okay, how many is that on? Five. Yeah. Four. Perfect. So if you haven't got a bar, don't worry. Right? Mel's going to go straight back into squats. We'll show you how to band the squats. So she's going to stand on, on this. Okay, we'll just show you this for, for say 10. Stand on the neck. Okay, perfect. That's it. This is going to go around her neck. There we go. So that's a little bit of tension at the top. Okay, and she's going to go for another set of maybe 15, okay, we'll see. There we go. And that band's just kicking in, guys, at the top, okay? It's just making it a little bit harder at the bottom, uh, at the top. As she goes down, the band's nice and loose, so she stands up and it's getting a little bit tighter, giving her a bit more tension on the, um, the quads. These are brutal. If you've got a, a, a purple band, um, I did these in one of my phases. I think I had a red band and two purples. Oh, my quads were killing me for days. So remember, if you can do more than 25 at once, you need more load. You need to make this exercise harder. You could not lock up the legs. So Mel can just go, yeah, keep the, keep the legs a little bit bent at the top. That's one way of increasing the difficulty of the exercise. Good, okay, so she can do her rows now. We'll do the rows as well with the band, so same thing. She's going to stand on the band with one leg or two. Okay, back's nice and straight. That's it, so make sure this back's straight with me. Uh, back with more bend the knees. There we go, that's it. 
and she's gonna pull in and she's gonna work that range there guys okay so this is how we can do the um the, the rows with a band in a bent over position like this yeah it's a nice one with the band this is a nice exercise you can really get as hard as you get close to your body and you can really squeeze your lats focus on driving those elbows back to the towards the hips So some of you are going to love this phase, some of you are going to hate it, because there's no rest. It's 100 reps in as little time as possible, and you can try and beat your score then the following time, okay? If you are doing it too quick, we'll tell you what, that, what timing that is, and then you need to go heavier. Right, that's two sets done, and we're straight back to, to squats again, okay? Cool, how about that? Okay, so now for a quick drink. Is that 50? Yeah. So 50 of each. She's halfway there. She hasn't got a carry on 25, she can do... Less reps if you want to, but then less reps just mean you've got to do more sets. Nice. I think Gavin just filmed the other quad and back workout. He just texted me now saying it's brutal. And he's like, good luck with a little winky face. And, uh, and, and, and I'm laughing because it's not me doing it, it's not. Good. That's it. Keep that tempo, guys, yet. Yeah, try not to bounce the bottom. Control every inch. It's not often that I get this sweating in the A series. And it is a warm day, yeah. Perfect, so we'll show you another variation of bros. If you can't keep your back straight, what you can do is you can tie this band around anything. Yeah, we'll just put it around me. Yeah, now I can drop down onto one knee. That's it, okay? I said she's going to do her rows, same thing out like that. Okay, squeeze in the back. If she wants to work harder, she can do it like this, like an elbow up row. So elbows nice and wide. Okay, that's going to hit a little bit of a different area of the back. Elbows in narrower is going to be a little bit more um, rhomboids, okay? So that's it, come nice and wide. There we go. I can go back a bit more if I want to be extra mean. Do that? Mm, yeah. Yeah, so if you pull up, up a bit higher, it's going to work more upper traps. A bit lower is going to work more rhomboids and lats, potentially. That's it. And this will go around the door frame, guys, anything you want. If anyone needs a link to this band, let me know. Oh, <laughs> thanks for that. If anyone needs a link to the band, let me know. They're like five or six pounds on Amazon, and they're really, really good. Okay, 75? Mm -hmm. Okay, 75 reps done. We've got 25 reps of each left to go. Yeah. Yeah. So Mel, six minutes and 10 seconds in. Okay? Bell's been running a bit lately, doing a bit more aerobic work, so your fitness is getting better in terms of your breathing. But you still, you should still be short of breath, guys, with this type of workout if the weights are selected correctly. So if you find me, if you do 100 reps easy, then you definitely need to make the uh, difficulty levels harder next time. You should struggle to do 25 reps for four sets. Should be re really, really tough to do. That's where we can start utilizing your weights if you do do it. Mel would definitely use a bar for this, I think, if we were doing it uh, yeah. as part of a normal workout and not just a demonstration to you guys. Okay, that's it, Rose. Should you do it, Mommy? Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. There we go. Drop onto one knee. There we go. And she can row. Yeah, good. So, guys, people have asked about the rows. How do you do them? As long as it's a pole, guys, you can be any dumbbell row, kettlebell row, table row, banded row, TRX row, barbell row. Any form of row is absolutely fine. Okay, last bit of work. She's seven and a half minutes in. Okay, almost there. Five, good. Four, three. Don't let it go. One. <laughs> Two, one more. Don't let it go. One. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Hold on. 
Great, so that's the A series then guys. It took me out eight minutes, okay, which is the fastest you wanna, you wanna do this, okay? So you should still be working now. If you finished already, then the weights you used today were too light. Try and go heavier for your remaining, remaining reps. Uh, when me and Gav Gar did the calculations for this, it should take anything between 10 and 15 minutes, okay? So finishing in eight minutes just means that the exercises we've chosen today, even though the exercises are correct, the way we've actually um, done them, has been a little bit too uh, on the beginner side, a bit too intermediate. They haven't taken us to that uh, that level. Okay, so we've nailed this again next week. We do every single set of squats, maybe with a band, potentially a thicker band. Her rows would all probably be with a, a thicker band as well, just to increase the difficulty level. Right, guys, the B series today. So if you haven't finished, guys, pause this video and make sure you finish, and then you can start um, watching this again. Okay, the B series today. We have uh, split squats. And we have bent over lateral raises. The tempo on these guys are two seconds on the eccentric, so two seconds on the way down on our split squats, two seconds down on our lateral raises, one second up, but on the lateral raises, we're gonna pause at the top, okay? And the, 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 they bend those, we're gonna pause for four seconds at the top, and on the split squats, as we come up, yeah, we hit that bottom position as we come up, we're gonna hold for four seconds where this tension, then finish off the rep, okay? If you wanna elevate your heels because you're tight for the hips, you can, you wanna do that? No, Mel's fine. Um, and Mel's gonna start off with just um, just some body weight ones, okay? See how they go. We've got four sets. My advice is to start off with body weight, uh, see how they feel, and then you can obviously increase the difficulty levels if you need to, okay? So go with your weakest leg first. Okay, so Two seconds down, make sure you're not on a tight rope, make sure you're on sort of train tracks. Down slowly. One, two, up, hold, four, three, two, one, finish off the rep. Good, so now we go all the way down, right down, up, four, three, two, one, finish off the rep. Good, all the way down, hit that bottom position up a little bit, hold, four, three, two, one, finish off the rep, all the way down, up a bit, hold, four, three, two, one, finish off the rep. Good, hold, four, three, Two, one, finish off the rep. Two more for eight. Up a little bit. Hold four, three, two, one. Good. Down we go. Right down. Up a tiny bit. Hold four, three, two, one. Good. So Mel's going all the way down, taking two seconds to hit that bottom position. She's coming up a tiny bit. So there's tension on the quads. Holding for four, three, two, one, and then finishing off the rep. And that's one. We go for eight to ten on each leg. Okay. Up a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Up. Good, down we go. Hold, four, three, two, one. Finish off the rep, down slowly. Up a little bit, hold, four, three, two, one. Halfway there. Up a little bit, hold, four, three, two, one. Three more. Up, hold, four, three, two, one. Good, last two. Up and hold, four, three, two, one. Last one. Up and hold, four, three, to a rest, good. Okay, take 45 second rest, guys, if you um, if you need it. Okay, so on the last phase, guys, we did bent over lateral raises, and I showed you all, which I remember, I, I actually did the video, how you can do this in a prone position. Okay, so um, we'll talk you through this now. Uh, for the lateral raise, you don't need a lot of weight. Knees are 1.25, and knees are what I think I ended up using on my last set last time. So you don't need heavy weights with these. The key is with the bend of a lateral raise is that we bend over, obviously, and we hit that top position, we were extremely weak due to having bad posture um, in a lot of our daytime activities. So now it's going to bend, bend over, uh, like a bend over barbell row. If you prefer to go one foot in front, you can. I prefer to have one foot in front. That's it. There we go. Stagger yourself. Straighten this back up more. There we go. And raise out to the side. Up for one. She's going to hold for four, three, two, one, and then come back down. Eight of those, yeah? That's it, up, hold, four, three, two, one, and down. Up and hold, four, three, two, one, and down. If Mel's to look to the side, your hands should be in line with the ears. Four, three, two, one, and down. Four reps to go. Four, three, two, one. Last three, if he's burning now. Hold, four, three, two, one. Two more for eight. Hold, four, three, two, one. Last one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay? So guys, that's the bit of a lateral raise. I'm gonna show you the different variation, and I prefer the variation I'm gonna show you, simply because 
been in this position for a long time, it puts a lot of strain on the lower back and the, the glutes as well. Okay, so um, especially your legs are tired, we want to get as much um, you know nervous system stimulation go into the target muscles rather than all the muscles of the hamstring and back because of, of trying to hold that position. Okay, so I'll show you a different variation uh, next time. Okay, one sit then. All right, how are you feeling? All right, I'm on my rest. Okay, she's having a rest. You need to make sure she has a rest. Okay. So yeah, make sure you take your rest, guys. If you found the first set too easy, add some weight. It could be a plate, it could be some kettlebells, it could be um, holding anything in the goblet position. Tell me again. Okay, let's go again. Set number two, eight to ten reps, guys. Okay, so down we go. Up a tiny bit. Hold four, three, two, one. Up one. Down we go. Up. Hold four, three, two, one. Two. Down we go. Up and hold four, three. Two, one, three, four, three, two, one, four, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, six, last two, four, three, two, one, seven, last one, four, three, two, one, eight, good, eight to ten reps, good, perfect. Okay, other leg. Yeah, make sure the same leg first every time. Up and hold. Four, three, two, one. One. Four, three, two, one. Two. Four, three, two, one. Three. Four, three, two, one. Four. Good. Four, three, two, one. Five. Last three. Four, three. Two, one, six. Four, three, two, one, seven. Last one. Good range. Four, three, two, one, eight. Right, that's good. Take your time. Good. So I'm going to get the um, get this out for us, which is our. Let's see if I can slide this out. Okay, so I'm going to get this. And all Mel's going to do now is she's going to, yeah, put that just on there. She's going to go into the same thing. Yeah, arms going to be nice and straight. Raise out the sides. Hold for four, three, two, one, and then come down. Okay, so here we are. Very similar to the bend over row. Uh, bend over after race, she's just going to be able to lie down, give her legs a little bit of a, of a rest, get a bit more stimulation to those. Posterior deltoids, yeah? Okay. See if you prefer these. If you don't prefer it, absolutely fine. So lie down, leg straight, that's it. Your arm straight if you can, the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then if we go to the side, yeah? Arm straight, hold. Four, three, two, one. Bring them down to the floor. And up. That's it. Four, three, two. Can you show you some bend the elbow? That's it. There we go. Just to there. Sit there. Okay. Double straight. Set, go. Up and hold. Four, three, two, one. And three. And up. Four, three, two, one, four. Four more. Up and hold. Four, three, two, one, five. Four, three, two, one, six. She's shaking. Up. Four, three, two, one, seven. Last one. Up and hold. Four, three, Two, one, eight, rest, good. How's that? Prefer? Yeah, prefer it. Yeah, more comfortable. So Mel prefers that, like I do, because it's a bit, more, a little bit more comfortable. Um, and you're going to stand up, you know, in, in, in that position and hold it. It really hurts your hamstrings and lower back, and you struggle to get neural drive to the, the, the right muscle then, because all these muscles are working hard to stabilize. There we are. Two sets down. We've got two to go, and then we've got conditioning then. So if you're watching the video through guys, you can take the 45 second rest. That's not that's just not quite 45 seconds, but Mel's ready to go, and that's fine. Keep it up and hold four, three, two, one. This is set number three. Up and hold four, three, two, one. Good. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Four, three, 
two, one, two more. Four, three, two, one. Last one. Four, three, two, one. Good. Well done. Sometimes you feel like you might not need a rest because it's upper body, lower body. Mm. So your arms are getting a bit of rest when your legs are working and vice versa. Super set is a great way to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. Four, three, two, one. Up. Four, three, two, one, two. Four, three, two, one, three. Four, three, two, one, four. Halfway. Four, three, two, one, five. Four, three, two, one, six. Last two. Four, three, two, one, seven. Four, three, two, one, eight. Good. Perfect. I'll look at that. Good. Three sets done. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'd probably add more weight on the table, probably. Yeah. Is the, the pause burn? Yeah. Yeah, so Mel said the pause burns. She said, like, you know, she probably could do with a little bit more weight. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. So make sure you add enough weight, guys. Like I said, Mel's only 88 reps today. The rep range is 8 to 10. So potentially add a bit more. You want your legs to be shaking on that 10th rep, okay? So really make sure you're working um, to your maximum. Still got a sweat on, no? Mm. Okay, back to the upper races. So do these wherever you prefer. If you haven't got any weights, guys, you can lie on the floor and your hands on your head, and you can try and touch your, your hands behind your body. So there's the swimmer sort of posterior exercise that we sometimes do, the figure of eights they called. Okay, eight reps, up we go. Hold, four, three, two, one, and down. 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 Two more. Four, three, two, one, and down. Last one. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good. Good, guys. Now, four second pause there is in the shortest range. That's the hardest point, okay? So, we're spending a lot of time in the hardest point. Okay, have a little rest. One more set to go. Warm here. And we got some great conditioning, guys, at the end. Then, every minute on the minute is um, it's, it's a nice one. So, it's 10 minutes of conditioning. And that's again where you want to make sure with all these sessions that you're using the right loads for you, okay? Okay, last set. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Split squats, yep. Yeah. Last one, guys. Four sets of split squats. Set me sheet up, gone up room. Okay, last one. Up and hold. Four, three, two, one. One. Four, three, two, one. Two. Four, three, two, one, three. Four, Three, two, one, four. Four, three, two, one, five. Four, three, two, one, six. Four, three, two, one, seven. Four, three, two, one, eight. Good. Well done, excellent. Okay, last leg. Four, three, two, one. One, four, three, two, one, two, four, three, two, one, three, four, three, two, one, four, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, six, last two, hold four, three, two, one, seven, one more. Four, three, two, one, eight. Good. Well done. Good. And if you find, guys, you can't have, you, you haven't got the range that Mel's got, feel free to hold onto a stick to help with balancing um, and elevate your front foot. Okay? That's another way of, um, of doing that. You all right? Last set of that. Uh, I'll have to raise this. Okay, 
The last one, we'll go for the eight reps. Okay, try and get the, the elbows as high as you can. Keep that chest down. Three, two, one, up. Four, three, two, one, one. Up, four, three, two, one, two. Four, three, two, one, three. Four, three, two, one, four. Four, three, two, one, five. Three more. Four, three, two, one, six. Last two, come on. You can do it. Four, three, two, one, seven. Last one. Four, three, Two, one, eight, good. All done. Good, A series then with the 100 rep method, and then four sets of uh, eight to 10 reps with the split squats and the bent over lateral raises. So that's great. Okay, so the, so far guys, this work is fantastic. We're still not even 30 minutes in. We did go through the, um, the A series a little bit too quick. Okay, and the B series, we potentially wasn't taking um, the 45 second rest, but that's fine. But it's still, this, is, this is still going to be like a 45 minute workout, even though we've reduced the, um, the time slightly. So what we have now is we have thrusters. So just grab the plate and demonstrate a thruster with each of those. So a thruster, guys, is a full squat. Okay? Okay, so it's a full squat. If you can't squat all the way down, so squat down here first. Mel has a fantastic squat, so squat down to start. She's hitting that full range, okay? She's hitting it there. If you can't hit that full range, guys, elevate your heels like we did in the A series and stand up and push to the sky. Okay, so don't squat and then shoulder press. Make it one movement. So don't just squat and then shoulder press. You make it one movement. So as Mel is on the way up, the arms are already traveling overhead. So that's a thruster with a plate. Mel could use the two 1.25s. She could use a barbell in front or a barbell behind the neck. And the other option she could have is with the band. Just stand on, on with me. That's it, okay, and there, you are. She can go, have it in the front squat position, she can squat all the way down, and then press up, okay? Go ahead, it's in front of your head. One, go straight up, two. Okay, that's another option that we have, okay? And you can even put the band behind your neck too. So guys, any option you want to, um, this is gonna last 10 minutes, how is it gonna work? Mel's gonna do 10 thrusters in the first minute, and then in the second minute, she's gonna do 10 crab reaches. So show us the crab reach. She's going to go into a crab position, all fours, come towards me a little bit so you can see them. That's it, perfect. She's going to put one hand off the floor. Yeah, elbow to knee, and reach above it. Elbow to knee, one. Elbow to knee, two. As she drives her elbow uh, up to the sky, she's doing a hip extension, driving her, her hips up. Her bum should not touch the floor in between reps, if you can. Okay, Mel's quite flexible, there's a lot of yoga, so she can really get into that um, crab reach position. And I think you do a lot of wheels, don't you? So the wheels are that yoga position. So if you're inflexible, guys, it's a fantastic exercise. Single arm shoulder stability on one leg. You've got to really move through those obliques, okay? You're going to get that big extension through the torso. So you're going to really work those abs, okay? Which is, um, which is great. Okay, so how is it going to work? 10 minutes, running clock. The faster you can get thrusters, the more rest you have. Okay, but um, we'll see how Mel goes on. Can to use the band or the plate? Thanks. Mel's going to use the plate, so don't need the, the, the band. Okay, we'll see how she gets on. Uh, if, if, if she's having too much rest, maybe we'll give her a heavier weight. We'll see how she gets on, okay? Oh, All right? I got it. 10 reps on each, five sets on each, alternating between the two, every minute on the minute. For the crabs, there's five on each side, yeah? Yeah, crabs are five on each side, thrusters, a ten. If you have a kettlebell, guys, you could you could put a kettlebell on your chest and do the thruster, or you could hold it in the rack and you could do five on on the right arm and then five on the left arm. That's the option that we have. Okay, three, two, one. Minute starts now. Ten thrusters. So it's only ten reps. Don't rush them crazy fast. Focus on good control. Make sure your knees are not kicking at the bottom. Show control on the squat. Okay, it's a nice big dynamic exercise. Good. Ten in. Yeah. Okay, ten reps. Okay, that took now 27 seconds, but she now has 33 seconds rest before her crabs start. Again, she's gonna oh, do. Yeah. 
So you do five of these on each um, on each side. So you get rest guys, it's every minute on the minute. Okay? So it's kind of, it'll kind of be like 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off today. Let's go then. Ready to go, Eva Beaver. Okay, 10 seconds in, there we go. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. So the next minute starts now. Good, five, four, three. We try to enjoy the stretch, two, one. Now swap arms without putting your bum down, that's it. So notice how she didn't put her bum down. She, hit, she braced her weight, that's it. Three, good flexibility. Four, five, rest, good, well done, perfect. Okay, that was 20 seconds. That didn't take Mel very long, okay, which is, which is great. She gets 40 second rest, and then she's back into her, um, her thrusters, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's two minutes down, she's got eight minutes to go. What the coaches might do, guys, if you're doing this session live on Zoom, is potentially give you more reps if you haven't got any heavier weight. So if that felt okay, Okay, I know we've, given you we've said 10 reps on each. If you haven't got any heavier weights, the only thing we can manipulate is the reps. So if you found that okay, maybe go with 12 reps each side now. We'll, we'll do that with Mel this time. Okay, so you can do 12 thrusters now. Okay, because she found that quite easy. Okay, let's go. So Mel's gonna do 12 reps for a second set of thrusters. We wanna make sure to get this just right, that it's slightly more work than rest. There we go, she's not rushing them. Make sure you breathe, get the oxygen in. Squat and press. Good. Okay, perfect, that was 33 seconds. So it took six seconds longer, which is better. So rather than a 33 second rest now, she has 27, which is a better ratio, okay? So if you're smashing out, guys, in 10 seconds, 20 seconds, Add some reps on, okay? We let you be the judge of that if you're watching this video. Try and do 12 to 15 if 10 is too easy. Okay, now down we go now. So because that took a bit longer, the crab reach are coming around a bit quicker. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do six each side now. That's it. Two, three, four, five, six, perfect. Make sure your elbow touches the end of your knee. So reach into it, there we go. So get into the end of the knees, you've got to get into a deeper squat. Good. Perfect. Okay, perfect. That's set to 26 seconds, so great. We've added just about five or six seconds to each exercise, which is perfect. Mel's going to carry on with 12 of each, okay? Again, guys, you, if you did 10 in the first set, and then 12 in the second set, and you're still finding this too easy, let's take it to 15 reps, okay? All right. 15 seconds, you sweating now. Good, okay, 10 seconds. Five, we're gonna five, four, three, two, and one. Good, 12 thrusters. Good. Through, yeah, she's done three of one, two of the other, and we need to get five of each done. How are you finding it? Hard? Yes. Hard but not impossible. Yeah. Yeah, that's the key with homework, guys. Guys, we want it to be difficult, we want it to be challenging, but we do want you to, you know, be watching this video in your own time and think, you know, I can't fucking do it, it's too difficult, and, and that, that's not serving any purpose then. It needs to be achievable. That's why we're coaching you through it, right? Let's go again, six each side. If you're struggling with these guys, you can do five each side. If you're finding them easy, do six like Mel, even seven. Potentially, you could do seven or eight. Good. Look how Mel's driving her hips to the ceiling, okay? She's reaching back to try and touch the floor behind her. Her eyes are following her, her, her hand, and she's driving her hips right up. It's a fantastic booty exercise. Oh, 
Okay, rest good. That took us 33 seconds. Good, you got 27 seconds rest. Two sets of thrusters to go, guys, and two sets of, um, of crab reach. Okay, we're doing good for time. It's been 35 minutes so far. Good. 35 minutes to go so far with four minutes to go. Flying by, yeah, we're getting through it nice and quick. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. She's back to the thrusters, 12 reps. Good, make sure you fully lock up that arm with those triceps. Good. Good, 12 reps, hold on. Three and a half minutes to go. Yeah, you got three seconds for your next set. And then just one more, one more set, you said? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, do you want more? So yeah, guys, I think this, these workouts are gonna take about 50 minutes with a really good warm up and making sure that those 100 rep methods are challenging, not too easy. Okay, down we go, we got three minutes to go. Seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to crab reach. That's it. Elbow to the end of your knee and reach good. Six, five, four. She's making these look easy, guys, and they're not easy. If your body doesn't bend like this, then you need to do more stretching. Like yours doesn't. Yeah. Okay, rest good. 30 second rest from out. Yeah, the size as well. Yeah, so your quads are going to feel that, uh, that crab reach, especially after the thrusters, the split squats, and the squats. So, guys, one more set of each to go, okay? And that's uh, quad, I'll be quad and back one done, the first session of the week. Tomorrow's session then will be posterior chain, and uh, either shoulders and pecs, we hit quad and back two, and then the second posterior chain and shoulders, pecs work out later on in the, uh, in the week as well, okay? Let's go, last, last set, 12 reps of each, enjoy it, last set, best set as we say in the gym, 12, good, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good, 4 to go. Last three, two more, good, last one, amazing, 12, and rest, good, that's it, good, okay, 25 seconds and she's into the last set of crab reach, so the 12 reps is more challenging for you, yeah, yeah. 10 was a bit too easy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So guys, just like I said, if the, t if the 12 or 2 is 10, 10 is too easy, Okay, three, three, three seconds. If 10 is too easy, you can do 12. If the 10 is too hard, then do eight. You need to modify the reps based on the weight and the equipment that you have available. If it's taking you 45 seconds to do 10, then just do eight reps, and that should take you about 35 seconds then. So the timing is going to be similar to what Mel's doing, where it's about 30 seconds work and 30 seconds rest. Sit to the side. Here we go. Mel is done. Okay, perfect. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, enjoyed that. You should have, have a good sweat on uh, by now. We, that's the 100 rep method. So we did um, the squats and the rows. Remember guys, I know we demonstrated the barbell rows and the banded rows. You haven't got to have any of those. Okay, you can row with anything. Um, you can use a table like I demonstrated on the last, um, last exercise series for the last workout series we did. Um, you can do a TRX, table, tower row, anything that you, um, that you need to. Okay, guys? That was a great workout. Uh, don't rush the split squats. Take your time. Make sure you hold that four-second pause on the split squats and also the bent over lateral raises. And then that's, that's the part of the work where we need a bit of control. And then the C-series then, every minute on the minute, you can go for it. Adjust your reps. If 10 is too easy, go to 12 or 15. If 10 is too hard, drop it to 8. Just make sure you have a good workout. And at the end of the session, you look like... Um, like Mel, who's there. All right, guys, speak to you all soon.